Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google's Battery Historian tool to find the source of Android battery drain. Now Android gives you a pretty decent amount of information regarding battery life. With the default battery menu and settings, you can tell which apps have used the most power, see how long your CPU has been awake, and general stuff like that. But the problem with this setup is that a lot of stuff is chalked up as just Android system being the source of battery drain, and even though you can see when your CPU is awake, you can't exactly see why. So with that in mind, Google created a tool called Battery Historian that can take an Android bug report and use it to spit out insane amounts of data about battery drain. Sounds good, right? Well, the problem here is that Battery Historian isn't very user friendly, because you gotta do a lot of command line stuff to even load up your bug report. So developer Bobo1618 created a tool that will automate all that backend stuff for you. And as a result, Google's Battery Historian tool is now much easier to use. To get started, the first thing you'll need to do is capture a bug report. For that one, you'll need to have developer options enabled, which is as easy as heading to the About Phone menu and settings, then tapping the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. As long as you've got that taken care of, just head to the developer options menu and settings, then tap Take Bug Report at the top of the screen. When you confirm your choice there, your phone will buzz. That means it's working on the bug report, but it's not going to be ready for another 5 minutes or so, at which point you'll get a notification. Okay, so 5 minutes later, you'll see the bug report captured notification. From here, go ahead and tap it, then you'll be prompted to share the file with any capable service you have installed. It's a zip, so any cloud storage service should do the trick, and in the end, you're going to want to send the zip over to a computer, so something like Google Drive or Dropbox is probably your best bet. Then once you've shared the file to whatever service, just copy it to a folder on your computer that you can access easily, then we'll do the rest over there. Okay, so on your computer, start by heading to Bobo1618's Battery Historian Uploader Tool. It's a simple website, so any browser will work, and you can find a direct link to this site in my full tutorial. Then from there, just click the Browse button and use the Next menu to browse and select the bug report zip you shared from Android. Once you've done that, just click the Submit button then it'll take a good 5 or 10 seconds for it to upload and process the data. When it's done there though, you'll see Battery Historian's main page, which is filled to the brim with all sorts of battery data. I'm not sure if you can see it very well on this recording, but this main graph is a lot like Android's regular battery graph, just with a lot more detail. For instance, there's a black line right here that shows the battery level dropping as time goes by. And the whole thing centered around the concept that the vertical axis represents battery percentage, while the horizontal axis represents time. So these little colored lines that you'll see are various wake locks, screen usage, and other sources of battery drain that occur at points throughout the day. Like you can see that I've been on Wi-Fi pretty much the whole time, but these other bits only kicked in and went off at certain points throughout the day. And then if you hover your mouse pointer over any line segment, you'll see more details about that source of battery drain, including the app package name or wake lock name that used this particular bit of power. But beneath the graph, these tabs down here can give you a lot more detail. For instance, you can multi-select various tables here, then use the right hand pane to see details on those sources of battery drain. Or you can use the drop down menu at the top of the left pane to select a specific app, at which point you'll see specific CPU usage and wake lock data in the right hand pane. So there's a lot of data to pour over, and if you delve into this deep enough, you can really pinpoint any sources of battery drain. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.